welcome to Netch Pumps and Systems UK Limited and today we're going to do a back to basics on the Nemo Progressive Cavity Pump. So the Progressive Cavity Pump is made up of several components but I'm going to break them down one by one for you. So we have a usually a four pole motor and a reduction gearbox, a lantern area which also has the mechanical seal housing and the mechanical seal, a suction casing which has a coupling rod running through the middle of it, a rotor and stator, a dry running protection sensor, and a discharge flange. So the heart of a progressive cavity pump is the rotor and stator. Now the rotor is made up of a single helix metal, or it can be ceramic or plastic. And the stator is made up of a double helix uh, elastomer. So when the two intermesh, the single helix to the double helix rotor stator creates pockets. As the stator turns, those pockets are moved from one chamber to the next and therefore moving the product, hence progressive cavity. So because of the way the rotor moves within the stator, you have an eccentric movement, but you have a concentric movement from the motor and gearbox. So to take up that difference, we have the coupling rod in the middle. So the coupling rod consists of a single shaft and two SM pin joint seals which are movable in two directions and the gearbox is for reduction speed from the motor from usually from 1450 rpm down to your required pump speed. There's a very wide range of progressive cavity pumps regarding size and flow rate. Progressive cavity pumps can go down to the smallest millimeter to a single dot all the way up to very large volume transfers of over a thousand meters cubed an hour and very high discharge pressures. So progressive cavity pumps are capable of very small dosing rates with a plus or minus 1% accuracy and, and can go all the way up to very large transfer at a very high discharge pressure, flow rates from up to about 1,000 meters cubed an hour plus 48 bar and more. Progressive cavity pumps are very flexible with regards to the materials. You can go from standard tool still right the way through to your very exotic materials, plastics and ceramics. Uh, thank you very much for watching. For more information, please check out our YouTube channel.